We went to our pastors, talked to them about it. They all felt like the Lord was in it. We met with the people. We asked, talked about their heart. Were they people of integrity? Were they committed to Christ? Were they committed to protecting the message of the movie? And everything resonated with what we were trying to do. Then on September 29th, in 440 theaters from Tampa, Florida to Anchorage, Alaska, Facing the Giants was released. At Providence Bill, they paid for the whole theatrical release. Sony, we found out, owns Provident. And Provident Label Group, who is run by Christians, um, they were told by Sony, get into Christian movies. And, and the guys at Provident said, we don't know how to do that. And while they're telling them that, this little movie made by a church, it lands on the desk of Terry Hemmings of Provident Label Group. Now, think about this. At the, at the uh, Sundance Film Festival, 8,000 independent movies will be will be premiered at the Sundance, at Sundance Film Festival, all hoping to have a theatrical release. They've got the training, a lot of them. They've got the money. They've got the experience. They've got all kinds of stories. But in my mind and in my heart and according to Scripture, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. And unless the Lord, in, with this production, unless the Lord was in this, we're wasting our time doing it. And so we said, you know what? John 15, 5 says, if we abide in him and he abides in us, he will bear much fruit. But apart from him, we can accomplish nothing of eternal value. And so we saw the Lord come out of nowhere and bless this project. Well, here's what's happened. Opening weekend, 1.3 million in the theater. It was number four with per screen average, number 12 in the nation, which we're blown away. <laughs> we didn't know what to expect. But the Lord has continued to show himself strong. Then, uh, to date, it's over $4 million now, and uh, from opening weekend to the second weekend, they were looking at the drop, you know, how big of a drop will the movie bring, and they were expecting about a 40%, 50% like open season and some of those other movies that came out at the same time, and we dropped, um, it was 25%, 25 or 26%, and so they were shocked by that, and then this past weekend, it was 15% drop which was huge because it was the lowest drop of any movie that's in the top 20 that's in theaters right now. But here's the most important thing. Over 600,000 people have sat in a theater for two hours hearing the name of Jesus being honored, hearing the word of God being spoken, hearing a, seeing a biblical worldview of marriage, seeing people of faith who love God represented in a positive light, seeing people trying to honor the Lord on the field and off the field is one of the lines in the movie. And seeing a husband and wife work through their struggles and problems through scripture and through prayer and through unity and through seeking God. And what has happened is God's word has not returned void.